Methods of lean production. Cell production. Cell production is defined as the dividing up of the continuous production line into self-contained units. Each unit produces a completely finished product. Even though this may only be a component part, seeing a completed product is much more satisfying for the workforce than only contributing to a minor repetitive task. Cell production helps to solve some of the problems associated with production lines and the division of labor, such as boring repetitive work and lack of control. Cell production results in teams being empowered with the ability to decide on targets and the approach they should take to the task, giving them back control and improving their motivation. Overall, this approach improves the quality of the product produced. This is achieved because workers are more flexible and multi-skilled. This is particularly important where non-standard orders are concerned. The fact that the cell production completes the full job means the workers are more likely to take pride in their work, which improves quality. It is clear the business will see improvements in staff morale and quality, but it is not always the case that this system is as productive as a traditional production line. The traditional production line is able to maximize the use of capital equipment to a greater extent than cell production can. Team working. Because teams are often tasked with completing a full stage of the production process, this provides the opportunity for job enlargement as workers take on a variety of jobs within the team. This is motivational, as both Maslow and Herzberg point out, working in a team helps meet social needs. Time-based management. Time-based management, in essence, concentrates on reducing product development times through simultaneous engineering. As already stated, businesses need to be constantly improving their products to keep up with their competition. The shorter the product development time, the more competitive they will be. Some firms, such as drug companies, have very long lead times for new products, as research and testing can take several years. Others can see consumer trends change very quickly. For example, Kodak struggled to develop new products as consumers move towards digital technology. Simultaneous engineering helps to reduce the lead time involved in developing new products by bringing together all departments involved in a new product. All aspects of the project can then be considered at the same time. For example, human resources can consider the implications on the workforce at the same time as production considers the purchasing of new machinery. This will shorten the product development times and firms can bring their new product to market faster than the competition. 